try these. Let's try these. They're probably cousins. So they probably taste the same. This one also has um, a shrimp on there, but I think this is the spicy version. It's like a little symbol up top. That's like, I don't know. I don't know if that means spicy. It's a little sauce right here with a little. <laughs> so hopefully these taste good. Y'all, these bags hard to open. I don't know why. I can't even grip them. It's thicker than regular shit bags. I'm not even playing right now. Like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Child, these are them giving sweet, spicy, like them giving all type of different smells. It smells sweet and spicy, like but on the last chip. So we got these little fluff things again. Oh good. They smell spicier than, um, they smell like, um, a pepper, like just, uh, like a jalapeno pepper, some kind of pepper. They don't taste like that at all. They taste sweet. They got like a little more kick than these. They're not as salty, but, mm, they're about the same. I'm going to put this one as above this one, above the blue one. These, better than these. I can eat these. I can eat a whole bag of these. Right. Let's try something else. Let's try some candy. So these are high chews. And these are like really popular sweet candy. And there's three or four flavors in this bag alone. And they come individually wrapped. And yeah. Let's put some of these bad boys out. So we got this one, a purple one, which I think is great. We have a red one. Hold on, let me look at the back for reference. Oh, and I think this one's gonna be apple based off the back. And then we have uh, another one. No, this one is gonna be apple. This red one is gonna be cola, cola flavored. Cause it's like, I don't know, it's like a little Pepsi down here. So I think, let me just try this one first. It's like the oddest flavor out of all of them. Uh, it's cola flavored. Listen, it's brown. <laughs> it smells just like a Dr. Pepper. Not as crunchy. Y'all. It's like Big Red meets Dr. Pepper. Meets tussy raw texture, but then they put something like crunchy, like in there to give, like, I guess the effect of bubbles, which is creative as fuck. But mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. It's different, you have to have an apart taste for that. I'm not one of them girls, I don't even like dark soda in real life. So let's um wash that back with a grape one. This smells so pretty. This smells like a familiar, like, something I smelled or ate as a kid. So, we're going to try this grape one. Oh, my God. This one is crunchy, too. I put the same little candies in there. You can't see them. And you can show me a lot of sugar. Like rock sugar or something. Okay. Let me try the last one in this bag. Now, this one is probably going to be my favorite. I think it's apple. So, let's give it a shot. This smells really good. I'm getting a crunchy thing. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of that. Why would you make my candy crunchy? So, yeah, this is the winner. This is a winner. 
So this variety bag is Haichu with the apple grape and color. Nice break from the nasty ass chips. It wasn't nasty, but they're not my favorite. Like, I don't know. It's not what I'm used to. Oh, let's try something else. So let's try out some of these Lay's flavored chips. These actually have names on them that I should be able to figure out. Some of some of the bags too. This bag is giving classic. It's giving like original Lay's, nothing on them. It just got a potato on there on the front of the bag. It got some sea salt. It don't, it don't need a name. So I'm feeling pretty confident about these. These are probably something I've had before, similar to something I've had before. American version. Oh y'all, classic. This is a classic bag of Lay's chips. Let me see. Mm -mm. Yeah, these good. I feel like, so these are a sea salt flavor. That's what that's all it is. These are sea salt flavors. And I feel like our Lay's chips do not taste like this. I feel like they're not greasy. they like almost extra crunchy. The salt is giving like flavor and not just salt. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I could buy this version every time I think I probably would. Right now. The classic glaze I'm in first place, honey. They did not get no better than this. Maybe add a little hot sauce. But this is the classic. This is the classic right here. I'm excited to try some of the other flavors because they're named after like, I don't know, American food. And it's interesting to see like what they think our food is gonna taste like. So these these number one so far. Let's see these hitting on. So this bag, this is an oriental flavor. So this one is actually called a numb and spicy hot pot flavor. And I'm scared, maybe I should eat these last because I don't want to numb out my taste buds or have nothing too hot and everything else don't taste as good. Again, I'm not joking when I say that these bags are closed differently. Like, this Spicy, but these bags are like way thicker than American bags, and I'm sure they kept keep them like fresh and like crunchy and without getting broke up because all of my chips are like whole, and I'm sure that's because the air is not escaping the bag. I don't know, I ain't no scientist, but it's giving quality, is what it's giving. So, none and spicy hot pot flavor, it smells like sour almost. It smells like it's vinegar on these chips. It smells like vinegar with the um, noodle packet seasoning. The seasoning that you put on your noodles. Classic like ruffled little chip. Okay. Okay. So it started off sweet. It's a little heat on them. I feel like by the time you finish the bag, it can get spicy. And it can be like... It's, it's, it's interesting. If you can make tomato sauce or like ketchup spicy and flavorful, that's what it's giving. It almost smell kind of like tomato -y or sweet. It's giving sweet like that and then it's... I don't know, a little spicy. I don't know. This is a close second though. Out of all of the chips, these in first place, these in second place, them shrimp chips is at the end so far. I don't know. This smell is just, you gotta smell stuff because that's gonna let you know if you like to taste it. But I don't know. These is pretty good. These are pretty good. So our last bag of the chips. After these two bags, I only have one more bag um, for you, and I'm saving that bag of chips to the end for a special reason. Um, it's kind of um, on theme, on par with a lot of things we've been watching. So if you've been watching Squid Games, I'm saving that squid flavored bag of chips for last because it's just like, 
that's just a monumental moment that we don't need to take our time with. So, in the meantime, these are the other chips I was excited about because these are called Texas Grilled Barbecue Flavor. And I'm just curious as to what in the hell they think Texas Grilled Barbecue even tastes like. So, we're about to pop these open with a struggle. And are these open easy? Ooh. Now these are like a smooth chip. These are like an original Lay's type of chip. There's no ruffle or wave on it. And it don't look like it's like a lot of seasoning. It doesn't smell like a lot of seasoning. You can't see a lot on there. <laughs> but. Wow. I thought I was going to hate these chips. After I opened them. These chips taste like meat. Very much given brisket. Very much given did you fry these and beef stew. Um, it's like maybe they like crushed up a bouillon cube and like seasoned these chips. I wouldn't say it's like Texas barbecue, but it's very, very meaty. It's giving, I'm eating red meat right now. And a side of potatoes. So, these are probably like the most surprising shit out of all of them. The most interesting. Like, it's it's flavorful. Like, I can't even eat them. Like, my mouth water is too bad because it's, it's meat. <laughs> these meat. <laughs> wow, like, I don't even know what to tell you. I'm so shook. Ladies. Oriental ladies, y'all doing your thing. These taste like meat, honey. It doesn't give it impossible burger substitute. Now these are like, I don't know. These are lime flavor chips. So, these are pretty like classic. It's nothing too crazy or wild about these, but we just don't have these kind of ladies at home. They smell sour. They smell like lime. And again, this is a classic Lay's. It's not a ruffle chip. It's not a wave chip or anything like that. It's just a smooth potato chip fried. <laughs> I knew I was going to like this. Let me just start over. Let me just start from scratch. Okay. Open mind. <laughs> Eat it. Maybe with like guac, maybe with a little pickle de gallo, but um, mm -mm, no. <laughs> like they taste sweet. I hate like sweet. I don't know. Things that are normally supposed to be savory that are sweet. Like so chips, if I get a sweet chip, that's like really bad. There's some to me. And it's like crunchy. It's like, mm -mm, mm -mm. These are now in last place. So let me run down the order of operations to y'all. First place, classic place. Second place, we're gonna put in our Texas Grill um, barbecue flavor. Then gonna be our second place. Third place, we're giving it to these chips. We're gonna give it to our numb and spicy hot pot. Um, fourth place, we got our spicy little shrimp prawns, whatever things those are. Last place. These are actually called shrimp slices too, by the way. And then these. And just to, in case y'all was wondering, I'm gonna put the high shoes before <laughs> them lime flavor chips because it's just like, what? And without further ado, fingers crossed, y'all, I saved this bag of chips for last because I just knew it was gonna be controversial. I just knew it was going to be like, oh, what are those? Especially in a little of the show. Squid Games, we have squid flavored chips. So, these are grilled squid flavored chips. These are made by ladies, it looks like, of course. And they're a little bit different. These are not your classic 
um, potato chip. It does not look like this. It's, they're supposed to be kind of wavy. So it's kind of like a um, exaggerated ruffle chip. So we're gonna see how these go. Now I do like calamari. I do eat squid. I would eat it good. I would eat it fried. So I'll tell you, I, I eat squid. I like that. So um, it's gonna be interesting. If I can get them open. Listen. Y'all, these smell wild. <laughs> these was given. I would shop this. Smell. These chips. These smell like. Um, not squid. These don't smell like. <laughs> Oyster. Something from the ocean, something from the sea, not something that's the most recognizable, but something like it's giving sea. Um, I'm nervous now. I know I like squid, but these smell crazy. So they're like ruffling so I a really big one if I have any So oh my god, I'm just smelling them. They smell sweet, but then they also smell like very savory, like very meaty or full bodied or something. Let me just eat it. They're not bad. They're not that good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, nasty. So. These are going to be last place. I hate to say it. I had so much high hopes for these. Um, these are going to be last place for the chips. Um. I just don't even know what to say. You have to try for yourself. They started off good, but then they gave like, like was it a squid in here? Like contained squid is what it's giving. So I'm gonna put these at the end and to get this taste out of my mouth, um, I'm definitely gonna try out. Um, I have one more bag of high shoes. So let's see what these are hitting for. These I think are gonna be way more desirable then the other bag. So let's see what we got in here. It looks like we're gonna have strawberry, orange, and maybe some kind of like lychee or um, milkshake or something. So this is the back of the bag too. It shows you like the little outline of the flavors. So let me try to grab one of each. And the pink one. So these come in pink, orange, and blue. And you know, let's just start with the pink flavor because this smells so good. If I can finish, oh, they can't be, it's so hard to open my, do you want me to have the snack or not? Um, I'm gonna cut it because y'all not gonna see me struggle too bad a lot of snacks because no. Nah. Okay, I got the strawberry one <laughs> I'm about to give it a try and let y'all know what I think. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do. Please do try the strawberry ones. It's giving milkshake. It's something about it. It's like milkshake, bubble gum. Um, it tastes like strawberry, but it definitely tastes like something else artificially added. But but it's like good. It's like pleasant. It's giving. Um, yeah, do that again. <laughs> this one is the blue one, and the blue one is that like flavor. I'm not the most sure of. Smelling it, it smells like cotton candy a little bit, but I can't like tell the flavor based off the smell, so. Um. It's just 
sweet melon. Um, yeah, then it's gone. So it tastes like a melon, and then it tastes just kind of sweet. Um, it might be lychee. It might be some kind of seasonal melon from Asia or something. I have no clue, but it is really good. It was really worth um, trying. And my last one, and this is the orange one. And of course, they feel like some kind of cream center, and the flavors on the outside. And this one is Piper. Dreamsicle, creamsicle. A little orange and ice cream, the popsicle thing. That's exactly what this tastes like. And there you have it. There is my snack haul. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.